Hello everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and I've got another interesting creative tutorial prepared for you. As you can see, I'll be using my new colors, metallic colors from Arteza for my pour. And I would like to have make a black and white kind of pour and then turn it into amazing 3D piece of art. So I'll be using these three colors. This one is called Pearl White. This is pearl space gray and silver all mica color colors which has got which have got beautiful shine inside of them they come in this box i will put the link down in the description box for you if you'll be interested and here they are i mix them with pouring medium i'll show you the consistency the consistency is like slightly whipped double cream and i mixed one part of acrylic colors and one part of pouring medium. I use my homemade pouring medium. Uh, I use this PVA glue, which is good for creating a pouring medium. I mix 60% of PVA glue, 40% of water that creates my pouring medium. So if you've got your pouring medium, you mix one part of acrylic colors and one part of pouring medium. I will also put two drops of silicone oil in each color because I would like to have some nice cells. So let's mix it a little bit. There's a little drop of silicone. Let's clear this. It wouldn't make a mess on my canvas. So all of them are prepared and now I can pour them in my cup. This is my black canvas, which is size, I think it's 25 times 25. I'm not sure now, but something between 20 and 30 centimeters. So I'll start with white on the bottom. And I've got a little bit more white than the rest of my colors because I want it to be quite contrast. My silver, let's keep a little bit of that. And then this is dark gray, beautiful color, space gray. Now I will repeat it. This is my white, pearl white. All of the silver, all of it. Don't waste any colors. That's good. And my dark gray, all in there. And the rest of my white, like this. Ready, steady, go. This is the most exciting part. Ooh, some interesting black and white. Let's pour all of it here. Tilt it everywhere. It's good to use this cardboard corner so you don't waste that many colors. They won't go away. They'll stay there like that. doesn't look that interesting now but I'm gonna use my torch 
and it should create some amazing cells. I can already see some cells popping through. I'm using my gas torch, cheap one from Lidl, but it works well. Look at that, very nice contrast between grey and white. I know these cells will probably grow a little bit bigger when I leave it like this for a few days. I will wait at least a week till this gets dry and then I'll show you what to do next. So see you soon! Hey, so welcome back! My pore is dry and look how shiny that is! I love the shine in these colors and I decided to make metallic to go for a metallic look so I would like to make these metal pieces which will be here here and here so at the beginning I start with masking tape here This will be my edge. And that's it. And I'm gonna firstly I'm gonna use my beautiful Aztec gold and I will fill these lines with gold and fill all these lines with beautiful gold color because I thought that would go nicely together. So gold, here we go. Now let's wait like five minutes till my gold gets dry. Then I will try to shade it. I will shade, make shades around this line so it looks more 3D. So now my gold is dry and I'm gonna mix this pearl space gray um, here together with my Mars black. I don't want to use just black because I thought mm, it would be interesting to have a slightly metallic color in my shades. So let's just mix it all together. It will be very dark, almost black, but I wanted to give it a little, a little shine. I might use different brush. This one is too dirty, so let's use this brush. A small one, tiny one for shading. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that color on my brush and just slightly go along these lines. And it should create beautiful shading. So here comes the moment of truth. I later on I decided to paint these thin lines with black acrylic color because it worked much better than the per permanent sorry permanent marker. So I recommend rather painting it with black 
acrylic so let's see I'm gonna make another lines here here and here so let's use my tape again No, I need to leave these spaces blank because I will work on these edges later on. You don't want these to cross too much. Now the black part, I'm using this teeny tiny one <laughs> zero size brush. And I just go around these edges with black acrylics like this. And then I try to blend it, slightly blend it with a little bit of water. And that's it, that's your edge. Now let's take these tapes off. This is my favorite part. Now, I want to paint little screws which will be on the top and the bottom of each metal piece and you can paint it by hand if you want but i prefer using a little coin and then i'm using this whiteboard marker it won't be visible at the end but it helps me to see where the nice round screws will be so i'll just draw these little and now this is how i paint my screw so i'm gonna use the dark color the the pearl of space gray and paint the whole circle with this color don't put too much water in your in your colors just use a beautiful shiny color as you can see i put a little bit too much water in there it's better if you use just your colors without water so that's the dark part now I'm gonna use the silver one, this one, silver, put a little bit of that color on my brush and then paint bottom part. Easy peasy, like this. and it creates nice shade like that take a smaller brush and now this time I'm using very dark Mars black put a little bit on my tiny brush and paint 
shadow underneath my screw like this and the light source is coming from this way so the shadow is under here now I put my brush in water and try to blend this black so the edges are not too sharp and I'm just blending it nicely with water like that then again I put my brush in black and paint the middle part of my screw like this you need to make sure you paint a nice straight line like that and it creates an abstract screw I know some of you might not call this a screw but well I wanted to paint a nice abstraction with symbolism of metal pieces and screws and it's how I do it so nice now I'm gonna put my brush in white and paint the reflection here on the top of my screw because it's a round screw just simple line like that and then I will also highlight these edges with white so top part bottom part it's already looking very 3d and now I'm just gonna blend it with water my white parts just a little bit so it all blends nicely together yep and that's your screw I'm gonna continue making all of these and then show you the finished result And here's the result of my metallic pour with screws. Well, I hope you enjoyed this special tutorial. I enjoyed it very much and I'm very happy with the result. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or you can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us all your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your positivity. You make me happy. And I hope I make you happy too by showing you my painting tutorials. Thank you very much again and see you soon. Bye!